Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be performing a operation, which is um, optional. It's not a must. There are many um, things to do in the garden which are a must, and others that are optional. So it's going to be on the custard apple, or as the Americans call it, atemoya. Right, so we're gonna try something different. I haven't done this for a while. I did it like, oh my gosh, four years ago, maybe five years ago. It's been a while. Um, and what we're gonna do this for is for uh, bigger fruit, not necessarily more fruit, but bigger fruit, and to strengthen the tree. And all you need for this job is these two guys here mostly the uh, the pruner the, the hand pruner there's the tree behind me I have to be careful because there's fruit currently hanging on here oh and the um, the the date now is um, mid October that means mid spring in Australia and if you're in America this would have to be mid April for you you can do this anytime from uh, early to mid spring which means september to october or march to april in the northern hemisphere so i'm going to get started because it's uh, warm today and i want to get going to the beach right the beach is equally important to us as is, is the garden and sunshine many people fear um, the the sun because of tradition or what they've been told by their by their parents they sucked it up without um, trying it okay so I'm gonna start guys so the point here is to shorten well there's about three things to do we're gonna shorten the um, branches right see this branch here it's too long we're gonna shorten it and the second thing we're gonna do is remove the side branches see these side guys we don't need these, the little tiny ones. But I've got to be careful that I don't cut a fruit off. <laughs> like that. That's on a tiny little bud there. We don't want to cut that off yet. We'll do that when the fruit is picked. So I have to be um, aware or focused on what I'm doing. Or what you're doing when you do it. Um, so I'm going to go around cutting off these little side branches right and then the sec the third thing I'm gonna do put that back there ah, it's in my way I'll just cut this off right is you want to go one two three four five six six nodes in check there's no fruit there and you want it to be pointing out a node it's pointing out not pointing in so we're gonna cut that about there right something like that this is not perfect science one two three four five six cut and cut the little guy here too and so on and so forth I'm gonna take my uh, my singlet off my tank top I'm sweating and it's only um, 21 Celsius guys Okay, so, uh, yeah, once you get the um, experience on doing this, it's um, easier. The first, second, third time, you have to go in there very carefully, right? So, again, these side branches, these little ones, which we don't want to get fruit from. And the reason for that is because they're too weak. Look how weak this is. A week. Imagine this little guy here, this little branch, holding that fruit d double the size of, the, of that. It's possible, but that's not called um, um, wise. All right? Just pay attention to what I'm cutting and what I'm not cutting. 
Again, full awareness in, um, in action. So don't be talking to the kids or to your dog when you're doing this. Or um, <sighs> be distracted in any way. Okay, so we're going to go around. See, basically, this is the pattern we want. See this? This is what we're going to achieve at the end of the day. That there. For strength. This can hold, uh, this can hold a 3 pound or 1.5 kilo fruit. But um, that can't. Or if, it, or if it tries to, it'll snap. You'll lose the fruit. You got it? That's basically the principle. Okay, I'm going to start cutting and then join you again. So now, you'll see um, a change, a pattern. I've left that half of the tree unpruned and this half pruned from the side. Unpruned, pruned. Um, and the reason, guy, guys, we do this, the, the other reason we do this is to encourage uh, flowering. The flowers will come, but if I don't prune it, they don't come till summer. That is December for us and June in the Northern Hemisphere, the USA. So if you want to get it started sooner, it's better to do this in spring. Because um, every, every uh, node here, now that I've cut, by the way, and you've got to take off the leaves whilst you're pruning, right? See all the leaves? Every node here now, every node is going to have a, 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 a fruit flower, a flower bud coming within one week. Next week, there will be little fruits hanging on every node. Every single node will have um, a, a little fruit flower. Uh, so we want to basically force it to, to flower one to two months sooner. Um, on the Atemoya and the Cherry Moya applies as well. I'm not sure about Soursop and Relinia, but I, I don't see why not. They're all the owners, right? So now I'm going to do the other half of the tree. Take another look. Half, half, right? 50 50. The tree is 10 years old, and yet it's only 2.25. It's only 2.5 meters tall. It's only 8 feet, 7.5 feet. Um, because I've been pruning it, guys, every year, so it can stay within this small area. I've got, it's, it's too busy in here. Very busy, very, very busy, especially when I had that white chatut mulberry before I chainsawed it. It was very, very busy in there. So that's why I want to reduce the size of the tree every year. If I had just let it go, it would have been touching the ground and who knows where it would have been. It would have been into the other trees. It would have been basically like this White Sapoti, it would have been that big by now, right? And we don't want that in this space. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. So don't forget, um, the leaves have to go too as you're pruning. All right, guys, I'm done. That took me 15 minutes, maybe 20 with um, the video. So... It's quite easy, but I was fully focused and I went over everything like three times because I, it's something I do only once a year and guys, um, memory doesn't serve too well when you do something once a year, right? So, oopsie, I already forgot, I already saw something, oh, that's right, I saw something I forgot, but it's on the fruit, you don't touch, you don't prune around the fruit until the fruit is picked. Um, so basically when this fruit's ready it's just hanging on here now till it ripens right we're gonna cut this branch to basically probably here or here 
six nodes, maybe eight, six to eight nodes up from the from the main branch. Um, yeah, and these this little guy here should have been cut. I didn't see him. Right? You don't want a fruit hanging on this like that. You don't want that. See, you're, this is what you're trying to avoid. Five, uh, not five, uh, three pounds. A three pound fruit, especially if you get two of them. Oh my gosh, that's five pounds, right? Five pounds on this. So that's got to go. Um, and um, yeah, I think I did a good job. Not perfect. There's always going to be something to fault. Always. Um, yeah, that's a bit flimsy. I could probably cut it here. Yep. So guys, um, like I said, this is not to win an award, the Adamoya Pruning Award. That's not what I did it for. This is like an amateur, beginner, um, hobbyist prune. And I think it's darn awesome. I don't get an A+, but at least I get a B. All right, guys, that's just how I do it. You don't have to do it my way. Do it your way, but I like to share what's going on here at Fruitopia. I'm going to go and do the cherry moya next, and I might share it on another video, maybe. But right now it's beach time here in Melbourne. We're going to have 26, I think, Celsius, around 80 Fahrenheit, which sounds good to me. By the way, the, um, the little atemoyas cherry moyes or whatever these you don't touch the first year this is a this is only this has been in the ground only for 10 months you don't go pruning one that young you wait till the second year until it gets to um, that high right I'll show you the atemoya hang on that what that, that was the atemoya <laughs> this is the cherry moya in its uh, second year yeah. So once the Atemoya gets this big, you could do some pruning. Um, I could prune this, but I've decided not to until next year. Until year three. Right? I wanted to get some strength. Some muscle. Right now the muscle it's got muscles but they're they're young. The muscles I mean it can it can hold fruit no problem. But the muscles are still like medium size and not full size so yeah you just wait on the um the young ones before you prune them that was a 20 year old atemoya i just pruned by the way uh, for our american friends atemoya in australia are called custard apple for your information no one uses the term atemoya in australia they're all custard apples every one of them okay just so you know all right, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. No problem. And um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And we should have these ready to uh, pick by Christmas. That's when um, Ate Moya Cherry Moya season happens here in my Zone 9B in Melbourne, Australia. Um, that means December and January, the beginning and the middle of summer. Okay, guys. Bye-bye now. Oh, I forgot to mention something very, very important that everyone asks. No, the answer is no. I do not hand pollinate my Atemoya Cherry Moya Rolinia um, American pawpaw trees. No, the answer is no. Um, I get fruit every year um, without hand pollinating. This year I only got five fruit, but um, three, four years ago I got 15 fruit without hand pollinating. So I get anywhere between 5 and 12 fruit a year. Not much for a 10-year-old Atemoya. But guys, um, it is what it is. And 
I'm not gonna be um, too concerned about that. You never know, I might get 50 this year, especially from the uh, prune I just gave it. I skipped the last two, uh, two, the last two years, I didn't prune it. So that's maybe why the production went down. So, um, that was the, um, the final note. Thanks for watching.